here is the end result, the final setup. The canister's in. If I look around the back, I can see the fill line, how much oil is in the canister. I would just have to reach my hand down at the bottom here, plenty of room to separate the um, the, the fill plug on the canister. Uh, I have my my inlet and my outlet going back. And just once again, I can't say enough about the silicone vacuum hoses and the kit that comes from the eBay sellers in California. Great stuff, outstanding, took care of my problem 100%. Now I'm going to see about this, uh, this hockey puck PVC dripping oil back in the system if this, um, this oil separator really does the trick or not. That's it. Uh, of course, you can see I don't have the vacuum hose on top of the EGR because the EGR has been completely removed. I am in um, the Midwest. <laughs> you can tell by my name where I am. But I am in the Midwest, and um, we, we don't require emissions testing here. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me that you're recirculating diesel exhaust back into the engine. So uh, there's my son coming up now in his little diesel Beetle. And that's it. The check engine light is on. If anybody knows how to turn that check engine light off after removing the EGR setup without reprogramming the computer, please let me know. Uh, I would be very interested in finding out. But this setup right here should work to remove the oil out of the positive crank ventilation valve, that little hockey puck on top of the engine, and those yellow tubes. You, you take one off at a time and cut it to size and keep going until you're done. Uh, don't take the whole system apart. You may lose your, your place and you, you forget how long these tubes are. Uh, everything else is running great. After after that, my wife says the car shifts smooth and, uh, shifts smooth and everything runs uh, A-OK. -okay. So hope you guys have as great a success as I do in doing this. This was my first time and hey, the, the, the deities were looking out for me. Take care guys, bye-bye.